guys welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna to be doing my July favorites July is like my favorite month ever 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 because not only is it my birthday but it's also a slap bang in the middle of summer and also when I was younger July was always the month that we broke off for school holidays and it, that was just like the best thing ever for me so just like always I'm gonna dive into the items and show you what my favorites were this month well last month um, so first of all it's a makeup bag by Alphabet Bags and it says you look lovely today and I think that's just a really nice inspiring uplifting quote especially Especially if you're gonna look at it every single day and then do your makeup as well so basically I've been using this bag to store all my everyday items in I'm sick and tired of going through my whole makeup tower for like 10 or 15 minutes looking for each product so I decided to put all my everyday um, day to day makeup items into this bag so that I can just have it all in one place and it's a lot quicker when I get ready and it's a lot easier as well and it's a really nice size and I like that it's fabric because it means I can wash it once it gets dirty and I just think it's a really nice makeup bag and it wasn't too expensive either so that's a good good bonus so second of all I have a highlighter this is by Soap and Glory it's called Glow All Out if you've watched my last makeup tutorial then I used it in that tutorial it's a really nice pink pink based highlighter but it's not too shimmery or glittery this lighting is doing it no justice at all so I'm gonna do a close-up and show you guys it's really nice and the packaging is nice it has a nice um, imprint saying Serp and Glory and it has a nice sized um, mirror as well and it's not too expensive and especially when boots are doing free for two it's really good to pick up Serp and Glory items because you get more for your money. Thirdly is a MAC concealer called Pro Longwear and I have it in NC20. I have never used this concealer before I got it like at the beginning of of last month maybe or the end of June something like that um, but I've been using it ever since under my eyes and I just think it's a really good long-lasting concealer it does a really good job at covering any dark circles it doesn't smudge it doesn't melt it lasts all day long and I just think it's a really nice concealer I like matte concealers anyways um, I'm kind of biased because I like a lot of the other concealers so if you sell me a matte concealer I will be sold because I just love them but this one really is amazing and you get quite a lot like that that doesn't look big but it's quite a fat tube and I like that it's got a pump as well because that's really nice and clean instead of using those doe foot applicators which you always put on your face every day and gets super dirty another one of my favorites is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and this is the color correcting blend it's the peach one I've been using this as a primer and it helps to counteract my dark spots which I have quite a lot of um, because of pregnancy my skin has cleared up a lot but I still have the dark areas and some like acne scarring from previous like breakouts and I've realized that I'm starting to get like sunspots a little bit here I think that this year summer was just incredibly hot and it brought out all my sunspots and yeah so this is a really good way just to neutralize it all and um, color correct it all before I apply my foundation and I'm normally not a fan of a Smashbox um, primers because I do not like the texture but for some reason I don't actually mind this one and I think it works quite well actually underneath my foundation so Smashbox my hat just nearly knocks my own hat off um, Smashbox color correcting blend next is um <laughs> next is a lipstick that so many people have been asking me I post a picture on Instagram Facebook I film a video and put it on YouTube wear this lipstick and I get so many comments asking me what it is and it is MAC Mocha it's this really nice kind of like a I wouldn't say it's nude because it's quite brown but it's kind of like a brownie red uh, red turned brown and it's very like a warm Kylie Jenner kind of lip Kylie Jenner um when I think of Kylie Jenner I think of Velvet Teddy and that's a lot more nude this one is a lot more warmer and a lot more forgiving and it also looks a lot more natural as well and I do prefer this one over Velvet Teddy Velvet Teddy on me 
I like it but it's not my favorite but this has become my favorite like I use this so much I only got it like maybe a month ago and I've already used like can you see there's only that much left normally my MAC lipsticks last me forever because I go through them very sparingly because I have so many but this one I have continuously used it like throughout the whole of July and yeah favorite lipstick of July. Then I have the face powder that I've been using um, for the past few weeks and it's the Shu Umura Loose Matte Powder in Colourless and I have previously used this before and I'm not sure why I didn't repurchase it. I think I kind of got sucked into the Soap and Glory one heck of a blot which I used for so long. I can't remember how long I used it for but I must have been through like five or six of them continuously without using any of the powder. But then I decided that I should branch out and try something else and I really wanted a loose powder because I think loose powder is just a little bit more natural and not as, um, you know, you can just like sweep a little bit and you don't have to pack it on. As like a pressed powder you really need to swirl your brush in there and like pack it on. But this one is um, really nice, really natural, it's matte, it's colourless so it suits any um, face colour. It does oxidise. A little bit so like when I put it on it's kind of pale but then after about half an hour it just adjusts to my skin color and it looks natural and it looks fine again so yeah I would definitely highly recommend this for oily skin types especially in the summer as well this is the Shu Umura and um, matte face powder then I have a Sowasu so I'm not sure if you pronounce it like that but it's the perfect tint cushion which I had so much it gives decent coverage not amazing coverage I wouldn't apply this if I had a bad skin day when I'm having a good skin day then this is this is enough I don't need to go in with foundation or whatever but I have it in the darkest color which is 23 and it's the perfecting cushion evening fair so basically you get a mirror you get your um, cushion sponge and then when you open it up you get your cushion down here with all your products and then what you do is just like tap it like that and then like apply it to the face and it is a really great cushion normally BB cream, CC creams, cushions I find that I don't get on too well with them because I have oily skin and these tend to be quite dewy so it can, it can tend to slip off really easily and also it doesn't give me the coverage that I like because I'm so used to having foundations with good coverage that when I apply a BB cream or CC cream or whatever it just feels to me that I still feel naked I feel like my skin's not covered enough but with this one I don't get that feeling and I actually really like it and every time I wear this, Tommy always comments and he says, oh, your skin looks really nice today. And But he, he doesn't realise I've got makeup on, he doesn't, because it looks so natural. And when I do wear this, I tend to wear minimal makeup, so maybe just eyebrows, a little bit of mascara and a little bit of a lip tint, and then that's it. So that's probably why I get away with the no makeup look to him. But I actually have this on and it looks really nice and natural. Next, I have a book well a notebook and it is the happiness planner and this planner is oh my god it is so good it's not a normal notebook it's not a normal planner it's a self-motivating positivity planner so it has a lot of quotes and it has a lot of um questions in so like it says number two what makes you happy and then it tells you um Create your happiness roadmap. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I'll do assuming. Then it just asks a lot of nice questions and it says 10 rules to live by for those who want to live a positive life. So the whole book is all about positivity, and then you go through it, and then there's like the diary section. So you fill out what you're gonna do for that week, and then there's a day by day, and then you write down what you're planning to do. Have you achieved it? How happy do you feel? And it, it's a really nice book that I never knew it existed until a PR company sent me it. Anyone who wants to lead a positive life really should check this out. So last but not least, the TV program that I have been loving, or drama should I say, is the Japanese drama Death Note. I've recently, um, not recently, but I previously watched the movies, but I never watched the anime. Tommy always tries to get me to watch the anime, but I, I know it's not going to be my thing because... 
when I watch him watching anime, I don't feel like I enjoy it. Um, but I watched the movie and I loved the movie. And so when Tommy told me that there was a, like a real life drama out, we started watching that. And I think we're on number five or six now. And it comes out once a week, which is quite a pain because we have to wait. But it is honestly so good. And I just love it. It's one of the only TV dramas or shows that I'm watching or like catching up on right now so yeah if you want to check it out then I'll leave what it's called down below not sure where you can find it because Tommy's in charge of that I don't deal with any of that I just sit down and watch it so thanks for watching my July favorites and um, let me know what some of your July favorites were and I'll see you in my next video bye guys one which is the Prada Safiano Tote this is the small I think they do actually I think they have a mini a small, a medium